Hello guys, how we doing? Welcome back to the free homers. It's Luke here. It's Friday morning, day after the game. Um, that's poor last night, weren't it? Listen, there's a classic line in European competition that a point away is a great point. Uh, well, not a point, you know, a draw away so you can bring it back to your ground and, you know, take it to them. And listen, there is some logic in that. And... If you're not looking at the whole game in perspective and you're just looking at it as a result, you'd go, okay, yeah, well done, West Ham. We've done well there. But in terms of the actual game, at times we made them look like Barcelona, prime Barcelona. I'm talking under Rijkaard and Pep. Like, we just, we have no idea in terms of patterns of play and passing. Um, you can see that that's not coached to West Ham. Um, the initial setup as well, five at the back. It's just, do we want to win this competition, Dave, or do we want to, you know, defend our way to the final? Which, again, I, I, honestly, I don't think we're going to win it. We should win it. But, you know, any other team, if I was a neutral fan looking at West Ham, I'd go, yeah, they should win this. But we just, listen, we we had a goal disallowed early. Um, with a gird, where he sort of touched his hand. I think it was a little bit harsh. You know, I think they maybe could have given that goal. Um, they didn't, you know, we had to, you know, go again. Um, the goal did come though. It, um, when we was, we had a throw in on the side, quick from Sufau into Bowen. And Bowen played it into Ings and put it in for his first ever European goal. I'm happy he did score. He didn't do much else in the game, but I'm happy he did score. You know, he needed that. You can see, like every West Ham player at the minute, the confidence is just continuously getting drained out of them. Um, so, one new up. Not bad. Um, they got back into the game, though, the second half. And they were testing us. They were there. A lot of chance. I think there was like 13 shots they had off target. Um, which, again, were good chances as well. Um, their goal did come, lovely bit of football, probably the best bit of football in the game. Um, little one-twos, uh, little dancing in the box. And that guy that I pointed out in the preview put it in. 1-1. One, one. At that point, they looked like the only team to go on and win it. Um, the, the overhead kick from that Alban, who looked a really good player. Um, that was close, hit the bar. Um, they had the one with a Moroccan guy that danced into the box, played the one-two and just dragged it. They, they played really well. They played good football. They was up for it. Um, and at 1-1, one, one, we just didn't know what to do after that. Um, Moise's substitutions were questionable. Um, you know, taking off Emerson, who I thought was playing okay, to bring on Cresswell. Ben Johnson was shocking. He could have took him off and gone to four at the back and just tried something different. Um... When Paquetta come on, he was a bit of a spark. You know, he tried to drive into the box a few times. He also laid a lovely ball into um, Bowen, who should have scored and didn't. Um, yeah, apart from that, it was pretty dire, to be honest with you. Like, it, it, you I can't say I enjoyed the game at all. Uh, far from it. Yeah, and it just... Um, yeah, it, it's, just, it's just not good enough. It's, you know, no disrespect to them. You know they're a, they're a decent championship level team. That you know if everyone's on it and everyone's got the desire and everyone's confident and everyone can pop it about a bit, we can't beat them. But we just there's, it's not there at the minute and it's it's really really disheartening. Um, yeah. Do I think we'll do it when we come back to the London Stadium next week? Probably. Um, but I still don't think we're going to win the old competition. I still think Fiorentina's a dodgy one, um, AZ's a dodgy game, and it wouldn't surprise me if we get through, play Anderlecht, and then they beat us after, even though we beat them in the group. Um, yeah, the only problem now is, like I say, it just puts a bit of pressure on that second game, which we didn't need. As I said, we, we should have gone all out for this game, knowing that the Arsenal game is probably going to be a disaster on Sunday. Knowing then we can sort of half relax in the second game and then go for it, Bournemouth. Now we've got a bit of pressure on both games now, Bournemouth and... Um, the Ghent return leg so yeah I don't know quicker Moises out of this club the better 
he's not motivating the players. People can keep going, oh, you know, you've got to stop digging Moyes out, you've got to go to players. Oh, I am digging the players, but Moyes is the one who's got to motivate them. Moyes is the one who's got to set them up right. Um, and he, he's just lost all that, and the players are not interested. This, this thing about bounce back and uh, manager bounce, I'm not saying change the manager now, it's too late. But this is what a new manager would have done. He would have put a little bit of belief in them. Other players that maybe have not been in and around the squad would have been able to play a little bit more better. Um, yeah, I hope we can do it, but it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough on Thursday. Anyway, guys, my man of the match was Paquette just for them 10 minutes. I think he showed a lot. I would like to have seen Corne, but um, yeah, that's just the way it goes. Anyway, I'll be back later with my Arsenal preview. Until next time, come on, you guys. Keep believing. Let's go.